Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain how to find the equation which is perpendicular bisectors to the straight line AB. Okay, before I start uh, to do this one, you have to understand uh, what is the meaning for perpendicular bisector. Alright, perpendicular bisector, first, perpendicular means actually is like well, 90 degrees, uh, the gradient will be 90 degrees to the straight line AB. So from here, I know M1 multiple M2, I will get negative 1. And bisector means actually he divide the straight, li straight line into the half. This one called bisector. So I'm going to uh, roughly sketch, sketch out to give you some idea. So it's basically it's something like this. If this one is the straight line AB. Okay. Perpendicular bisector is something like divide this AB into the half and then it will form a 90 degree over here. Okay. So... When I say divide AB into the half, means what? Means actually this straight line, it will pass through the midpoint of AB. So, remember, whenever the question asks you to find the uh, perpendicular bisector, you will need two information. Find the equation of perpendicular bisector, you need two information. First is, you will need midpoint. And then, you will need the gradient. You need the gra gradient, All right? So these two is very important. So if we, if we can find the gradients of a, if we can find the gradients of a b, so we just use m one multiple m two equal to negative one. We can find the gradient for this equation, All right? And then I just substitute, I just substitute the gradient and this coordinate into the equation. Then I can find the equation of perpendicular bisector to a straight line a b. Right, so I hope you basically get some idea. So I'm going to erase this one again. Right, so I go, I, I will start to do. So first, first is I find the midpoint of A B. So I will find the midpoint of A B. So midpoint formula is very simple. Midpoint formula will be uh, x plus x one divided by 2 comma y plus y1 divided by 2 alright so this one is very simple so so let's say I call this one is an x1 this one is an x2 alright so I'm going to find the midpoints it will be negative 2 plus 8 divided by 2 comma negative 7 plus 13 divided by 2 then I will got 6 divided by 2 2 which is 3 and then here will be negative uh, will be 6 divided by 2 again so it will be 3 3 is it 6? yeah so midpoint of AB is 3 3 it means if this is the AB I will have the midpoint at 3 3 over here so now I'm going to find the gradient for the red color line over here so in order to find the gradient so what we need over here is we will need to find the gradient of AB. Alright, so gradient of AB is very easy. So we want to find the gradient. Let me use back. So we have to find the gradient for AB. Gradient formula just y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So okay, so let's call this one is y2 minus y1. So it will be negative 7 minus 13 over negative 2 minus 8 so obviously this one is negative 20 over negative 10 so the gradient for a b will be so gradient for a b will be 2 then now we can find the gradient of this red color line by using m1 multiple m2 equal to negative 1 so i hope you are familiar with that equation so okay so let me go to the next page uh, okay okay so so okay so actually this question is very simple I hope you you understand so whenever he asks you to find a perpendicular bisector you will need you know you need two information one is you will need to find a midpoint after you find a midpoint and then you just find the you just find the gradient of a b then you substitute into the m1 multiple m2 equals to ne negative 1. You can find the gradient for this one. 
So after you find the gradient for this one, you just substitute into the equation formula and then you will get the equation for this one. Alright, I hope this video can give you some idea what is the meaning for perpendicular bisector and how to find the equation for perpendicular bisector. Alright, I hope this video can help you. Thanks for watching. So we're going to do something like M1 multiple M2 equals to negative 1 because we want to find the perpendicular gradients. Okay, just now we got the gradient for AB is 2. Multiple M2 equals to negative 1. Therefore, the gradient for the perpendicular line actually is negative 1 over 2. And then just now we got the midpoint is 3 over 3. So the midpoint actually will equals to 3 over 3. So we got something like this, right? So this gradient we just got is uh, the M equals to negative 1 over 2. Alright, and then we got the midpoint they're passing 2, 3, 3. So therefore we can substitute in this equation y minus y1 bracket equals to m x minus x1 this is this is the very important formula for you to find the equation all right it's very simple let's okay let me call x uh let me call 3 is x1 and then this 3 i call it y1 okay so i just substitute i got m2 over here so i'm going to substitute the m2 into the m over here so basically i just do what i do over here will be okay y minus 3 equals to negative 1 over 2 x minus 3 see i just substitute and then i go into multiple m minus 3 equals to negative half x plus 3 over 2 therefore y will equals to the, uh, the negative 3 move over that side will be positive 3 so will be okay negative half x Okay, plus 3, plus 3 means 6 over 2, we will got plus 9 over 2. This is 9 over 2. So this one is the equation for this straight line. This one, so therefore we got the equation which is perpendicular bisectors to AB. This is A and B, right? So this equation equals to Y equals to negative half X plus 9 over 2. Okay, actually it's not really hard. So what you need to do is